Hi guys, this video is sponsored by Walmart and trust me when I tell you guys, I am about to put y'all on and low-key change your life. So I've been using Walmart Plus for over a year now and when they reached out to work with me, I was like, absolutely mama, <laughs> like you guys all need to know about this. I honestly cannot tell you guys the last time I went grocery shopping. So with Walmart Plus, they deliver anything you need right at your door and it is a free delivery. Yes, y'all heard that right. Free same day delivery and shipping. So that means that today I wake up and I feel like making some shrimp pasta at night. I literally just go on the Walmart Plus order whatever I need and they deliver it right at my door. I don't have to go out of my way, go to the store. I literally just open up my app, order whatever it is that I need and it will be here same day for free. It's literally the best thing ever. You can order as many times as you want, free delivery and same day delivery. Cooking or even just keeping your pantry or fridge stocked is so much simpler. You don't have to worry about going to the store just for strawberries. You literally just order them and they're here the same day for free. Walmart Plus has also been the best for like last minute friend or family gatherings that ain't nobody trying to go to the store. I literally just order it on my phone and it's right at my door, same day delivery. As you guys see, my groceries just got here that I ordered earlier through my phone. I ordered us some bread, orange juice, we were running low on that, eggs, cucumber, onion, banana, oranges, ice cream for baby G, and also some napkins because we ran out of napkins actually. Now I can use that time to do something else around the house, not have to worry about stepping out and having to go grab all this. They deliver it to me and it's free. By the way, everything is fresh, fresh, straight from Walmart and the prices are the exact same as if I were to walk in. Here are my strawberries, some oranges, my napkins, my grapes, my bread, hash browns, and will y'all get the point? So it is free shipping always, no order minimum, and free delivery with a $35 minimum, which is beyond easy to reach. Trust me when I tell you guys, especially as a mom, this will change your life and make it so much easier. So now to the good part. To become a Walmart Plus member, it is only $98 a year. That is not even $10 a month. And the amount of times you order and they deliver is unlimited. That means you can order literally as many times as you wish, a day, a week, a month. And with gas prices right now, sign me up. You guys get a free 30-day trial with my link below. See how you like it, how convenient it is for you. And I am convinced you guys are going to be obsessed and literally wonder where this has been your whole life. Because when my sister put me on a year ago, I was like, why am I just finding out about this? But if you guys want to give it a try, like I said, my link is down below for you guys to get a free 30-day trial. Thank you Walmart Plus for making my life easier and for sponsoring this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, I'm so excited to finally be here giving you guys a house tour as we have promised you guys two, three weeks ago now. I feel like this video is so long overdue or at least for me and Alex because you guys know we've been waiting for this day for so long and it's almost wow. surreal to be standing here about to give you guys a house tour. So I'm um, super, super excited. So before we start with the house tour, I first of all want to thank all of you guys who have supported us and literally made this possible for us. It's always in the front of my head that, you know, thanks to you guys who literally write for us and believe in us. Since since day one, we are standing here right now and I'm trying to <laughs> not get emotional. I will literally like uh, get teary eyed when I would think about this moment. So right now I'm like, oh my God, like the day is here. So Finally. like I said, before walking in, I did want to thank all of you guys who have believed in me, Alex, our little family now. And it's crazy because you guys have been with us since we were at our apartment. Our apartment to our first house and now to our second house. I know, which is <laughs> so crazy. And just know we see all of the love and we appreciate you guys so, so much for again, making this possible for us. And I love you guys, and I am forever and ever grateful for you guys. I love you guys too. Leslie just took the words out of my mouth. I don't, we don't want to be, we're like rehearsing, like who's going to say what? So <laughs> just what Leslie said, guys, really fast. You know, thank you guys, like she said, for all your love, your support. Thanks to God, most importantly, but to you guys. You guys have been through the whole journey, and we're glad that you guys are here on this new journey, this new chapter with us. I know, it's exciting. I tend to take uh, the words <laughs> away from Alex. Uh, but yeah, whether you just like her picture, subscribe, support, Lexin, merch, <laughs> Anything, any kind of support means the world to us. So without further ado, again, thank you guys. And now to show you guys our new house. And as you walk in, you get to the whole living space on that side, which we will get into right now. But now to take you guys to the right side, which is my office. So this is kind of my side workspace of the house. But this is so exciting for me. You guys know right now I have my office slash makeup slash closet in one room. So now I have my own office space. Finally. I know so much more space to not be all Cramped. cluttered up. 
cramped. That's the work. And I'm excited to start decorating it, which I'll show you guys everything as far as the decorating process in my office, like on my Instagram and stuff. And then on this side, you keep walking. And this is my office restroom, a girl's restroom, which I love because anybody who gets ready with me now has a shower of their own. We lost some footage here, but my office restroom, which you guys are now seeing, actually connects to my closet. So I get to walk from my office restroom into my closet in case I need to change. I love the easy access to it from my office, a little architect moment. And then here for the island, I added some drawers. I'm not too sure as to like where I'm gonna put everything specifically, but just the fact that I have more space, I'm super excited and like always, I will show you guys everything. So now you keep walking this way and this right here, so that was my closet, and then it connects to our master restroom. Once you come in, guys, nothing crazy, just our simple uh, toilet. To I like your favorite spot right there. Uh, <laughs> AKA my favorite office, the king's chair. So yeah, guys, it's just a walk-in shower that we uh, got right here in the corner. Then you come out to the right. So I wanted to point this out in the shower because I feel like it's so convenient for us girls, if you know, you know. But when I don't want to wash my hair, I loved when hotels had like just this little thingy so you can just like rinse off and not touch your hair. So I'm very, it's the little things that matter. I'm really excited that now we have this so I can just, and I don't have to get my hair wet. But yeah, I'm excited about that. All right guys, so stepping out the shower, you know, just the basic, who's seen, left is Leslie, right is me, I think, or which side do you want? Oh, we have in paper, scissors, rock At the house, how do we have it? At Wait, the no. house, we have, I have the right one. Guys, just so we go back, we've been living at our current house for what, three years now? The whole time we've been there, <laughs> Leslie has used a sink that I use. So the other sink literally is ne has never been used. I mean, I think I saw you washing your face the other day. <laughs> But You're after, so dramatic. after like three years, she always, I feel like she just likes to use the sink that I use, which is totally fine with me, but. It's because your site has vibes, baby. You have the vibes going. <laughs> I, yeah, I like to have my stuff all nice and clean and organized. Yeah, but. that's true. Cause sometimes like he sees me like brushing my teeth in his side. And he's like, babe, why I'm just wondering like why on my side? And I'm like, mm, two I want sinks. to. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so back to the sinks, full like mirror so we can, you know, see ourselves in the morning. And then this is kind of Leslie's side over here. Yeah, so well now to answer your question, actually, I'm going to go ahead and take this side because it connects to my little vanity, which I also love because now I can put like all my hair stuff in here. Um, my hair is the only thing that I actually don't do in my office or like in my restroom. I don't know why I like to do my hair like in my actual bedroom. So it's super cool that now I have this little vanity thing. So I think I'm gonna be using this mainly for my hair and it's literally like a little vanity. So it turns off and then it turns on. So babe, I will no longer be on your side. And then on this side, we have the tub. So in the old house, we got like a jacuzzi style because that's like what they offered for us. Yeah. And guys, we never used it. We never used like the jets. Uh, the only time we started using the tub was when baby G was born and then up till right now. So he likes to shower in the tubs. This is actually the only tub in the house. Baby G should be showering here, but we're trying to get him to lean more the towards shower. the shower as he's getting older. It's got that little wand too. So this should be fun. I think it'll be a lot easier to, to like shower him and rinse him off here. Yeah, that's true. Well, Alex is 0% into tubs. I personally am. Like I have to be in the mood to really want to like relax and get in the tub. But yeah, definitely Baby G is the one that makes the most use off of it. So I'm excited to take my first bathtub with Baby G in here because it's just more spacious. We probably all fit because sometimes I tell Alex to join us and he's like, there's, there's no, no way. way. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to get a cramp in there. So yeah. maybe now getting much to join us in the shower. Straight into my closet. It's not, it's not as big as Leslie's but it works just fine for me guys I've got a lot of space for all the clothes to hang I'll probably do like that full side for shoes I love it it's it's big I mean, it's way better than than before <laughs> from sharing um, closet with Leslie I like the color in here too I feel like it's, it's like guy vibes yeah Leslie's is real like bright and white and like pearly and stuff and I, I was just trying to go for like a more like minimal like just a dark I feel like right now I'm like oh I don't think I'll fill up like all these like racks here but yeah. within time you know you, you never you see the space and you have it, you end up filling it up, so. Okay, so from Alex's closet is our master bedroom where all the magic will happen. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> but this is our master bedroom and I'm really excited to get to decorating and just furnishing um, everything up. But yeah, of course right now it is completely empty. Uh, we're probably gonna put our bed right here and we have a window which has the view. So that should be pretty exciting to wake up and <laughs> be able to see outside. Um, I'm not too sure if you guys can catch it on camera, but basically it's just like the mountains and a little bit of view like of the freeway and stuff so that's super cute i can't wait and then we have a little fireplace right here and we're we're gonna be hanging up our tv here which by the way guys um if you guys see any little like holes with wires coming out that also gets installed um this upcoming week unfortunately 
It did not make it to the house tour, so that's actually the last thing we're waiting for to actually start moving in. I kept mentioning alarm systems and cameras, but that's all those holes you guys see. It's currently in the process. And as you guys can see, a lot of natural light, which is gonna be a little, I don't know, like in the morning, it's gonna be like, whoa. Because oh, no, we're gonna put the blackout oh, yeah. lights. Well, we're putting blackout curtains and stuff like that, but uh, as of right now, guys, the natural light, I mean, it's a vibe though still, you know? Yeah, obviously right now it's like boring and plain, but the decor and the magic is going to soon happen. And then, okay, so now exiting our bedroom, we have double doors, which I also thought that was a little special because it's the only room in the house that has the whole little <laughs> double doors going on. So follow me out now to the actual living slash dining space of the house. So now we are in our dining space. So this right here is where our dining table is gonna go. Um, and then we have these light fixtures pendants to go on top of our dining table. And then right next to the dining area we have. So here guys is the, obviously the living room space. Up there is like the chimney. It's not like a real chimney, but it is like our fireplace area. TV will be up there, couches, rugs. We're excited for this place to like come together yeah. here because we got a, a new couch and, and we're just excited to make it real cozy. It looks a lot like empty right now, but I know once we have like the couch and the dining, the dining table, it's gonna like for sure just yeah. look different, but that's pretty much it, guys. This is a full living space and dining area. Yeah, even when family and friends come over, they're like, wait, where's the living room? Where's the kitchen, the dining? But yeah, once we tell them, they're like, oh, it makes sense. You know, you try and figure it out, but yeah, we're excited to finish that. Moving on to this side, which is going to be, I think my happy place, our kitchen. So we have our island right here, which I was asked if I wanted a sink in the island or no sink, but I said no sink on the island, even our current house right now, I also said for that one, no sink, just because I like to have the open space, especially for cakes and cake decorating and cake mess, of course, I like to have a full open space. And then right here we have the sink, of course, some cabinets, which I'm really excited for this right here. The sun is hitting, we are gonna add some blinds. And then on this side is the sink, which we have a view right here. I'm excited for that to be washing dishes <laughs> and having just a view of outside so it's a pretty w big window the sun does hit right now but we're gonna add some blinds it's literally at this hour that it hits yeah leslie forgot one thing or you didn't forget i forgot <laughs> So we have the dishwasher right here, guys. It's kind of like panel ready, so like you can't really tell. I think that's mm, why you forgot. Okay, yeah. But yeah, that's our dishwasher right here, guys. Pretty convenient, right next to the sink. So now to the oven and the microwave. This is our oven right here, and then, no, this is our microwave, and this is our oven, which this microwave is way different than the one we currently have, but I heard it's really easy to use. And then our oven, which I'm excited to break into and try for the first time uh, with some cake baking. And then right here, our stove. I love how it has like very very subtle accents of gold. So it just kind of like pops. And then I'm also very excited for this <laughs> because we have now a side burner, like a little skillet, which right now we don't currently have. And I feel like it'll come in handy so much because you guys know I'd be getting down in the kitchen sometimes. <laughs> so I just feel like this will be super convenient and it's just a bigger stove. So I'm excited for that. And then this right here also gets installed um, this upcoming week. Didn't make it for the video. I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram stories, but this will also be panel ready. So basically will look like Cabinets? Yeah, so this guys was supposed to be like completely flush with the rest of the cabinet. Like you weren't supposed to be able to tell that it was the fridge because it, it was supposed to look like a, like a cabinet. Yeah. But it was just like some error with the, you know, the way they cut the hole and stuff. So they're supposed to fix this earlier this week. So it should be like back to where it's supposed to be with the doors and everything ready to go. I mean, I think it still looks pretty nice like this, but I think it'll yeah, look cool. even nicer. And then now we also have, of course, more fridge space. So you can never have enough space of that. So next to the kitchen, we have our bar, which I'm excited to break it in. Yeah, I think we're, we're pretty both, uh, both of us are pretty excited for this space, guys. So yeah, we both decided that it'd be cool to have like our own little section. At the old house, we have like all our bottles and stuff like in our pantry. And like, we're like, why not have like our own space where we can have all of our bottles up on the, the shelves and then we can have stuff like cups and mixers and all that stuff hey. up in the cabin, in the cabinets. But yeah, we're both excited, you know, for when the family comes over, friends come over, this is gonna be like that spot where I can serve everybody their drinks. <laughs> yeah, so um, like Alex said, we both agreed on it. Thank God we are both on the same page. We both like to have a good time, a nice little drink at the end of the day, and which is why we decided to kind of, you know, like you said, make this little space for that and not really mix it too much with like the kitchen or the pantry or, or anything like that. Eventually, this will be full of bottles, vibes, and strippers. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, walking out of the bar. All right, guys, so leaving the bar, you walk over to the left 
and then we'll start, um, we'll show you guys my actual office. We're gonna be like kind of next to each other, me and Leslie. All right guys, so this is my home office. I'm pretty excited because back at home, I'd never had my own like desk. Like Leslie would always mention, I had the desk and the desktop and my computer for gaming in Baby G's room. So now I'm gonna finally have like my own little space. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's exactly identical to Leslie's. It's just got, I mean, a restroom on this side. And then I do have a closet right here, a small closet. And I get to have my own restroom too. So this is a room where I'm gonna be in when, you know, when I get in trouble. Unless it kicks me out of the bedroom, I'll sleep in here. But yeah, guys, I got I got a lot of cool things planned for this room. Um, I do really need a home office now. Like I actually can do stuff on my desktop. So I plan, you know, a desk, a cool little couch, TV, and then that's it, guys. I might bring some sneakers from my closet over here. I just don't know how I'm gonna put them. Pretty much like he said, like mine, but mine had like the all white gold accents, and then Alex's, as you guys see, has just way more dark, dark, black, and gray. Just more manly. So yeah, I'm excited for him because Baby G was just <laughs> all up on him and baby G's toys were always on the way and it was a mess so i'm excited for you babe it's gonna be a vibe in here so now walking down the hallway we have right here the powder room basically just this guy i found <laughs> the toilet um the sink again marble and we are debating let us know down below i'm kind of like in the middle i don't know alex is also like mm, it's up to you babe but i want to make this whole wall uh, a wallpaper like a cool wallpaper because i feel like this is the powder room where the guests come in and obviously use the restroom. So take I, selfies? yeah, take selfies. So I kind of want for it to be like a different little vibe. So I'm thinking this whole wall to add wallpaper, but I don't know, we're debating. Let us know what you guys think down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the powder room. So next to the powder room, here we have our laundry room. So like Leslie said, guys, next to the powder room is our laundry room, which we're kind of excited for because you know, it's pretty spacious. So much uh, bigger than the one we have right yeah, now. Yeah, way, way more bigger and just more space to you know put up our laundry hang our clothes just have more like spaces for you know detergents and, and other home yeah. like, home goods that we can store in this room but that's pretty much it guys washer and dryer should go there and then back now to the hallway you walk down the hallway here we have two storage closets and then we keep walking down and here is our little baby G's room. So come on in. Yeah, so this is going to be his room. Um, I like how he's also in the bottom floor, but he has his own space. You know, he's kind of separated from us, but still on the same floor. And he has his own little restroom, a little walk-in closet, his own shower. Even though right now he still sleep with us. He still sleeps with us. <laughs> but we're excited that he literally has his own room. At home, we share the office and his room. But we feel like now him having his own space like we'll be able to put like all his toys because at our old house we have some of his toys in the living room but i feel like all his toys can be in here his small bed his tv yeah. and i feel like he as he grows more like he'll he'll want to be in here like, hanging out by himself and then we're gonna add kid vibes in here obviously and like i wanted to buy him a ball pit last time but i'm like oh my god where am i gonna put it like the living room is already full of toys so i'm excited for him to have his own little creative space vibes and here is his little closet like i mentioned his own little sink and then to my left side also his shower with the tub no not the tub <laughs> his shower with the toilet so that's exciting because obviously he's only gonna get older so you know it's nice to know that he has his room ready to go and one day he'll be a teenager let's not talk about that babe <laughs> one day he's off to college but yeah this is baby g's room all right guys so walking out of baby g's room is one of the more interesting rooms that we uh, decided to come and do here at the house, guys. This was initially like a uh, empty space that they kind of were like, oh, maybe you should use as a storage. And then we were like, mm, maybe not a storage because we literally have enough closets and pantry and all that stuff. So we thought maybe a, like a theater room, but then we're like, you know, we're not big uh, like movie watchers. And I do feel like it's like a little too narrow to be like a movie room. So we came to a conclusion that maybe we should just make a home gym. As you guys know, we both go to the gym, part of our daily routine. So yeah, we thought, you know, we could get small equipment and just things that we can do here at the house, you know, whenever on the weekends or just times that we can't make it to the gym for whatever reason, you know, we can we can hit a home workout here. So it came out really nice, guys. It's super bright, a lot of mirrors. We're gonna have a TV set up so we can watch TV and then we'll, we'll see what kind of equipment we get. Yeah, this was another one of those things we came to an agreement on, very much like the bar. We're both, you know, drinkers and the gym. As you guys know, we both gym now. Uh, we both started getting into, you know, the whole 
fit life and all of that. So yeah, right away we're like, oh my God, a gym would be so ideal. Like he said, whenever we just, you know, wanna hit a quick little workout here. And yeah, I like it. Right now it doesn't have too many vibes, but the vibes will be here guys. Very soon we're missing just the equipment. We've obviously never owned a gym. So yeah. wish us luck with that. I've heard it's a little yeah. harder. Especially right now that, you know, our, my trainer says that equipment's kind of a little hard to come by, but yeah, I mean, we're not in a rush to furnish this one yet. So as time goes, like little by little, you know, we'll start adding some we'll stuff. We'll see what we can get. I mean, we also gotta be kind of like picky about what we want in here because I feel like we can run out of space really quick. Yeah. Machines are huge, so we, get, we have to definitely decide like what's, what's needed. Pieces. Yeah, yeah. we just want to do like the basics, dumbbells, maybe a squat rack, a bench. What else, babe? Um, Yeah, go off. I'm down for all, <laughs> <laughs> for all of that. But it's just all nice to know stuff. we're going to have our own little gym and then um, not to exit the gym. It actually connects to the garage, which I also like, you know, where the gym is positioned in the house because it connects to our garage. Follow us over here. So we are here in our garage, a uh, three car garage, which is also exciting because right now it's a mess to move the cars out. And I'm not the best driver ever. So our current garage is also very narrow and Alex would literally have to park the car for me because I'm not the best driver. Yeah. So yeah, we have more garage space, also more storage. And yeah, here's guys, the so other side of the garage. Yeah, that's the, for the one car. And then over here is for the two. We won't show you guys too much just because there's like a huge mess going on, guys. Like we said, our audio and our cameras and all that are being set up right now so they have all their equipment you guys can see all the wiring but and we started bringing in boxes already too. yeah we're gonna start bringing in boxes so maybe once it's all cleaned up in here guys we'll, we'll give you guys like another yeah another view but that's pretty much it in here guys yeah pretty much garage. it for our garage so we are just missing one more side of the house one bottom side. floor so let's head over there so behind the kitchen we have the pantry pretty spacious so follow us in to the pantry which is currently empty but very soon this will be full of hot cheetos and hot noodles babe you can't and tell cakes, me other way and cake supplies <laughs> and cake supplies oh my god i'm excited because guys right now my current pantry i have like a cake section and it is just piled up because you guys know i do a lot of baking with it takes like, up like 50 percent. yeah honestly it's just like sprinkles and cake mix and all of that so i'm excited because here uh, we already started brainstorming how this whole wall i'm gonna put like racks to have the sprinkles and it's just gonna be exciting to have more space be more organized and cake miss is coming cake miss is upon us <laughs> so i just want to be prepared for that but yeah this is pretty Pretty much it for our pantry and it has a door we're gonna close that so baby you just not come in here and get any of the snacks all right guys so walking out of the pantry we're gonna walk into our media room all right guys so this is our media room again another room that we both came to terms well i told at first i told leslie please a man cave and i guess that term was like no not a man cave and i was like a media room and i'm like and she was like Ooh, a media room. <laughs> I was like, all right. So this is a, a, gonna be mainly like our social room, guys. This is where we wanna, you know, have our friends, our family just gathered. We have a projector that's gonna go up here, guys. So, you know, we'll be able to watch movies, games, and all that cool stuff. I'm excited. So I'm planning like a pool table in here, some small couches, a seating area. So this was supposed to just be like, like another space. And we decided to put like a sink. My we, idea. Yeah, that was one of <laughs> Leslie's ideas. We decided to put a sink. Well, Leslie decided to put a sink and like a cabinet there. so we we can just have like snacks and so then i was like okay well if we're gonna do that then let's put a bar so we'll put some stools here guys uh we do have a mini fridge down in the corner to the left so we do plan on having you know drinks for the adults and for the kids and yeah you guys just more space to put up i think you said you want to put like snacks and treats yeah. maybe a few bottles up here but not too much guys mostly snacks and then definitely drinks down Popcorn. there and a um. sink just in case we need to wash dishes but yeah guys we're super excited for this space so um, this connects to the backyard which we'll show you guys in a little while but the vibe that you get from here to like the outdoor patio is, is mainly what we're excited for and since it's gonna be summer like you know we're excited to have you know people out in the pool and then be able to come in here yeah so this is also another one of those rooms that i mean i feel like the whole house it's kind of hard to imagine it but me and alex have obviously been brainstorming but i'm down for a pool i feel like i mean like a pool table it just automatically yells vibe so i'm down for the pool table babe i was down for the projector too so yeah we agreed on this as well for the most part me and alex agreed on <laughs> literally everything i don't think we ever really disagreed on no, everything no, no. When it came to building the house uh he had ideas i had ideas and we were all we were both like down for it but yeah this is going to be a fun space and to show you guys the view as he was mentioning um these are actually pocket doors so the sun right now is at the hour that it's like hitting right at us uh but these are pocket doors so we plan on fully opening these up and then we have the pool right here the grill area outside so this is where all the fun is going to also happen 
So our meeting room also has a restroom, which I think will be convenient because like we said, it's a place for us to just socialize and have a good time. So, you know, they don't have to go into the whole entire house if somebody needs to use the restroom. Um, we have another one right here, basically just like our powder room, but this one is in the meeting room. And I think that's pretty much it as far as the inside of the house for the bottom floor. So with that being said, uh, let's take them upstairs. So we are back to the front of the house in the stairs, which the first thing I went ahead and ordered off Amazon, which was a baby gate. So literally as of next week, um, the gate does come right here. The so baby G will not be going upstairs without mom or dad. And yeah, these are our stairs. You come up, follow us upstairs. So made it to the top to our upstairs loft. And I love the view up here. Not sure as far as decor, what we wanna do here quite yet. I do know I want something on that corner, but I think we'll figure that out as we go. And to this side, we have our guest bedrooms. So here we have uh, two guest bedrooms, which is super exciting because you guys know in our current house, we don't have a single guest bedroom. And I always like, you know, it's always nice to have that for Alex's parents, friends from out of town, or just anybody that wants to spend the night. So we're excited for that. So here is the first one and we're gonna make it super cozy for anybody that decides to stay here. And yeah, just some windows, a closet over here, also a walk-in closet for them. That's it for this guest bedroom. And then right next to it, we have the restroom for them. So here is the restroom for that bedroom as well as this guest bedroom. And if you guys follow us in to this right here, uh, we also wanted this one to be very bright, white. We're also gonna make it really cozy, a shower. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this restroom. And like I mentioned, right next to it, we have guest bedroom number two, which is very identical to the other one. So this is the second one, um, also has smaller closet and then a window, which also has a pretty nice view to outside. Yeah, nothing too crazy here, but they will be extra cozy once they are fully finished. So that was it for this side. And now if you guys follow us upstairs, but to the other side, on this side, it's only one bedroom. Uh, we're thinking probably Alex's parents will take over this one since they do help us out a lot. And we are now going to be <laughs> way uh, farther away from them. So yeah, we decided their this could space. be their own space since they do spend like, you know, a lot of more time uh, with us and, you know, helping out with baby G. So we decided to give them like this side. So in case, you know, there's more than more than one guest, they can still have like their privacy on this side. Well, we did do a bathroom in here for that reason, in case, you know, they do end up spending more time here. You know, they can have, just have their own up here. But yeah, this is one of my favorite rooms too, actually. It's got a nice view. They have their own closet, which is on that side. Yeah, this one has a really cool view. Actually, we're about to take you guys outside but yeah a view just pretty much like the rest of the house and we have an outdoor patio so they also have like really quick easy access to that outdoor patio so kind of like you know their own base up here um in case they ever want to spend the night because right now nobody ever obviously spends the night because we don't have room so who's going to uh, spend the night first comment down below <laughs> so before we take you guys outside another favorite part of this house is the view from up here. If we ever get mad at each other, this is where I'm gonna come and take a breather. Cause it's just so pretty from here. It just, I don't know, makes me appreciate the house. And I just really like the view from up here. And I like how this is glass. So this is really, really heavy duty glass guys. Yeah, it's pretty safe. I mean, baby G will never even be up here without Fun us. Stuff. But I thought it was really cool how it's glass, it's clear. So you know what I mean? Like when you're coming up, it almost seems like there's nothing there. Here you get to see everything down there, which will be the dining area and the living room. So you get to like, you know, yell from up here to down there. I don't know who's gonna do that, but you get to yell <laughs> from up here to down there. And with that being said, now to follow us um, outside. So these doors, like we mentioned, uh, take you to the outside patio. All right guys, so we come out here. So this was supposed to be kind of like a dead space. It was supposed to just be like straight roof of roof. the house. And then um, Leslie was kind of like, well, why don't we like utilize it? And then I was like, yeah, I mean, we might as well. So we made it a full like covered patio. They put like this wood on the floor. Um, as you guys can see, you know, it's got, they put the rails up. So, you know, we're, we're not too worried about like somebody falling off. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we, we plan on putting some nice outdoor couches, a TV, and just make it a cool chill spot up here. So, I mean, we'll have the option from chilling outside or and downstairs or, you know, some people can be up here, but it's more of like a balcony for our guests and people who, who are on the second floor. Yeah. Yeah. Because as you guys saw upstairs is the guest room. So it's pretty cool. This can be like, you know, their own little spot to come out here. And yeah, like Alex mentioned, we're going to put some cool couches, furniture, by the way, it's so windy today <laughs> and probably a TV and stuff, but yeah, it's a nice 
space with also a very nice view. But yeah, I just want it for, you know, anybody who comes over, spends the night, me and Alex like to be, try and be a good host. So yeah, also something else that me and Alex agreed on and I feel like it's a vibe, huh? Yeah, Even like for nice. us. Relaxing, I feel like up here will be more relaxed and down yeah. downstairs will be more vibe and up here will be like, just calm, relax, drink a cup of coffee. Yeah. I don't know, read a book. Or... And then like sunset vibes, like it's gonna look so pretty from here. So yeah, it's a cool little vibe. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the upstairs as well as the whole inside of the house. And now for the fun part to show you guys our backyard. So follow us there. I had to pick up my hair because it's windy out. But now to show you guys our backyard, like we said. Um, so these right here are pocket doors, which I also love because when it's summertime or we, when we just want to kind of put the outside and the inside <laughs> together, these open up all the way as Alex is now, hey, is out. <laughs> That's on a lot. <laughs> that smack was nice. <laughs> that did smack, babe, why? Um, but these open up all the way and now, um, these two places kind of joined together. You got a bit? I'm still new to open these, so. I don't think we've ever opened these up, huh? Actually. No. So yeah, now that the pocket doors are open, um, we get to just enjoy the inside and the outside. Uh, but yeah, we have right here our infinity pool. So basically the water drips down. It gives you a nice view because from here, um, right now it's there's still some out, some sun out. But once the sun goes fully down, it's a pretty nice view, huh, babe? Yes. And it's been super, super windy, guys, so our pool's a little dirty, but... Don't mind that. We'll get it cleaned up. Yeah, so here is the pool, and then follow us um, to this side of the backyard. Um, so yeah, to continue to the pool, um, this was actually my idea. I really wanted for these stools to be right here. So basically the vibe, let me illustrate how this works. <laughs> but these little stools, it's like a, a swim-up bar. So whoever is in the pool can sit right there, and then whoever is on this side, can sit right here and enjoy a drink together. But yeah, we are gonna add um, like little cushions around here to just make it more of a vibe. Yeah. Uh, but I thought that was super cool because summertime is upon us and the swim up, you know? Um, yeah, the vibes will all be here gathered. Yeah. And this is a fireplace, you wanna talk about? Yeah, so this is a fireplace. Also, this whole area is like a place that we kind of too like designed and, and like- Envisioned vision together. together. So yeah. it's like a full, place to sit down as you can see it's like pretty spacious so it sits a lot of people and it, I, we think it's cool because like it, uh, we don't have to worry about putting like patio furniture out here yeah like, which we, we still want some but not as much anymore. yeah like we don't have to worry about putting a lot of couches like this is more than enough seating but yeah we'll eventually we'll put like a table and some stuff so this we'll keep you guys updated as well um with the whole how do you call it babe like the couch sectional or whatever that we're gonna get installed here because right now obviously it's Hard, but it's gonna be a vibe soon. And Alex is currently trying to turn this on because it is a fireplace. I don't Please think. hold. Two hours later, but you did it, babe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right now it's windy, guys. It's, it's super windy, guys, so the flame's gonna be kind of hard to see, but hopefully when it's yeah. toned down a little bit. Yeah, it's not the best time right now to turn it on, but yeah, just a little fireplace, so it'll be a vibe when it's cold and then also in the summertime. And now to come up here. All right guys, so once you step up, right here is like our little kitchen area. It's not like too too much going on, but you know the essentials, of course, a really big grill. Uh, we, we're good on, we're big on carne asada, so we my want dad it loves to cook, I love to cook carne asada. And then here is supposed to be the space for our fridge that we ordered, which is not here yet, but it'll be here soon, guys. And then, yeah, we're gonna have this like bar space to prep. So this is what we designed it initially, but now that we're here, I, tell, I told Leslie, I kind of want to add a little bit more um, just to give it more of like a actual actual kitchen vibe, like yeah. separate a little bit and maybe add like a plancha. But um, for right now, guys, it will, this will do. It's perfect. Yeah. So the the part we Alex wants to add here, I think, will actually look really nice because yeah. we can add more bar stools and then just more sitting area and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for the carne asadas, the vibes in the summer, which is upon us. Um, so yeah, on this side, actually, right here is the kitchen, which we had shown you guys the view of. So under this view right here, uh, we'll, probably, we'll probably end up putting a little bit of a, maybe like a, a table. Like an outdoor table, like an outdoor dining table. So yeah, that, there we go. Know, we can sit down and eat. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of room, so. Yeah, maybe some couches or I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, first is the inside and then the outside. So now to take you uh, guys down the stairs. So back to where we started, which is right next to the pool. So down here we have a nice little grass area for baby G to play. It actually looks, 
smaller like when you're up there but once you get down there it's a pretty nice space huh for yeah. baby g like i said to have like a little Big playground enough. so um we keep going down the stairs right here what you guys see to the right is the pool so the noise is also very therapeutic very calming <laughs> like, yeah calming. But it's a little windy right now so it's splashing like all over the place yeah um and then this whole grass area will be again for baby g to run around have a good time out here and on this side there's not much to show you guys on this side of the backyard but if you guys follow us over here so so we have this side guys sorry it's a little windy but uh this side's just kind of about the same as the other corner um our pool equipment's on that side um which yeah, we're gonna add a gate to actually. yeah we're gonna actually get that covered up and gated so like you know the guests or the kids don't go and play over there but i mean yeah just, this is good enough space too right here guys we can still put like lounge sets out here we can still mm -hmm. put a playground it's, it's it's good enough it's more than good <laughs> yeah and it's actually getting really it's cold, getting cold and really windy up here so yeah guys that's pretty much it for our backyard and now that it's starting to get dark at night time uh, we can appreciate the view a little bit more so yeah i'm excited to finally start moving in next week and it's getting <laughs> really cold so we'll see you guys inside so yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for our house tour it's still literally it seems surreal and once again i want to thank you guys for making this possible thank you god of course and i hope we did a good job showing you guys around and kind of just letting you guys in to our new little home and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching we can't wait to start doing our videos here now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye guys.